Um, questions? All right. Um, so, what types of brain connections promote voluntary over involuntary control over motor and sensory processes such as vocalizations and directing attention, according to Deacon? We just went through that. So, it's, it's the brain connections that go from somewhere in the brain to another part of the brain, so in that prefrontal cortex, and that's, that's what's promoting this voluntary control, right? And what is the primary effect of damage to the prefrontal cortex, according to Deacon? Yes, Scott? Okay, it's, it's difficult to, to shift attention to so, sort of subordinate attention to one thing to attention to another thing, right? And what makes the human brain particularly suitable for symbol learning, according to Deacon? Yes? The ability in a quick sense, an idea kind of like on it, or symbolic or meaning in the sense and that's the attention. Good, okay, so it, it's, uh, what, what's important is the ability to suppress a kind of indexical relationship, which is a sort of sign-object relationship, a, a kind of um, uh, response, sort of stimulus-response relationship, and suppress it in favor of a kind of symbolic sign-to-sign -sign relationship. Okay, and that's, you know, that's what's crucial for symbol learning. 